पनीर काजवा पॉकेट हेलो एंड वेलकम टू संजीव कपूर खजाना आई एम अपराज एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ रेसिपी व्हिच इज वेरी पॉपुलर इन टुडेज जनरेशन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कैल्जो बट एज ऑलवेज आई एम गोइंग टू ट्विस्ट इट एंड मेक अ कैल्जो पॉकेट सो टू मेक पनीर कैल्जो पॉकेट वी वुड रिक्वायर पनीर कट इन टू क्यूब्स ग्रीन कैप्सिकम कट इन टू क्यूब्स रेड कैप्सिकम कट इन टू क्यूब्स येलो कैप्सिकम कट इन टू क्यूब्स अनियन चॉप्ड पिज्जा सॉस स्लाइस्ड एलपिनोस फ्रेश ऑरिगैनो शुगर सॉल्ट मोजरेला चीज रिफाइंड फ्लावर olive oil yeast to start on first we make up as a dough take a bowl in which i'll add our refined flour make a well in the center we'll add our yeast we'll add some sugar and little water and we will leave this for another 2 to 3 minutes till our yeast is activated Once the bubbles start coming, the yeast is activated. Start kneading the dough. Open your finger as a whisk and mix it nicely. We'll add some olive oil. We'll start adding water. And we will knead it to a soft dough. As you can see, we have nicely kneaded our dough. We'll cover this and let it rest till it becomes double in size. That's what we call proofing. After 15 to 20 minutes, you will find your dough has rise a little bit. Now over here, I have already proven my dough before, so we'll divide this dough into small roundels. Now we will dust some flour on our work table and roll our dough into a disc. After rolling into a dough, we'll stretch this and make a semicircle. Over this, we'll apply some pasta sauce. Sprinkle some green capsicum. Some yellow. and red How nice and colorful it looks we'll also add some onion slice jalapeno we'll add our star ingredient paneer some fresh oregano we'll grate some mozzarella cheese sprinkle this all around Over here you may have noticed I have not added any salt. Why? Because the pizza sauce already contains salt and also we are adding cheese. So now quickly we'll fold this into half. Seal the edges very nicely so that our mixture doesn't ooze out. And also if your dough is not that soft, apply a little water or milk at the edges and then you can seal them. Now with the help of a fork we'll give marks on the edges not only this will look nice but also we'll be sure that edges are sealed properly the one which is done we'll place it on a baking tray and similarly we'll make the rest so as you can see we have made our calzo pockets lastly i'm going to brush it with some olive oil and now we'll bake this in a preheated oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees celsius it's been 15 to 20 minutes now our uh, calzo pockets are getting baked in the oven let's check as you can see they have baked nicely and have got a lovely golden color on top we'll quickly take this out in a serving platter so here it is a calzone with a twist pocket calzone a yummy snacks make it at your home and not buy it